All right. Friends. Olympians. War heroes. Welcome to Mojo Mix Live. Episode 3. Today, you're taking a holster track. Ed and I worked on... I don't know how long ago we wrote this this song, but a while ago is one of our first. It's the first track that we put out, and today we will be taking the mix, doing it again, scratch, total redo. So. Second here. Get started. All right. <clears throat> first things first. Go through some session setup so that as you're watching, as you're listening, you are familiar with everything that's going on here. So this is my normal holster mixing template in Reaper. Recently switched to Reaper and I've been loving it. It is awesome. The DAW you use does not matter. It matters how comfortable you are with it and how good you are at using it. You know, it's not the instrument that makes the player, it's the player. Same with DAWs. So I've been working in Reaper. This is my normal template. And I took all of the stems from Cheyenne, out of Pro Tools, all the effects off, zeroed them out. This is as raw as it gets. The only thing that I've done is, uh, we're not gonna be picking takes and, and making a comp of any of the tracks today because I do wanna try to finish this whole process in about 90 minutes. So um, all of the comps, that's all been done. The only other thing that I did was tune the vocals a little bit um, because I didn't want to have to go through that process. It's a little tedious sometimes and a lot of back and forth. Um, I can potentially make a video on tuning vocals at some other time, but I will spare you that today. Today we are just focusing on mix. And let's see if I pull this up here, you can see there are a couple of plugins pre-loaded. However, all of the, th the plugins that, switch to here, all the plugins that are sort of oranged out here, those are not in use. And uh, we don't even have backup vocals track. So maybe for the sake of cleaning this up, just, Now, another quick note, um, a lot of times I work with sessions, especially with my own music, as I'm doing the first couple of steps of the mix process, um, I, I will occasionally add instruments or subtract instruments. I'm not gonna be worried too much about instrumentation today. Again, I wanna keep this around 90 minute mark, we'll be done around 1.30, starting at 12 here. And uh, that's for the sake of brevity, for the sake of through the whole process for an amount of time possible. Normally mixing a track like this does take a lot longer or can take a lot longer. Yeah. All right. So oh, session setup. Here's what I've got. I've got a couple of reverbs out here. Um, a lot of people do this where they'll have sort of their favorite reverbs queued up. Those are the only plugins that are enabled right now. However, all of our reverbs Nothing's routed to the moment, but we're going to save adding reverb for later. I've got everything else bust. So I just close everything here. You can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six buses. Seven if you include the backup vocals. There are no keys in this track. So bye bye. Get rid of things. There are no drums in this track, so bye-bye. 
This is a really simple track. It is acoustic guitar, electric guitar, vocals, and bass. And actually, bass, electric bass, and then bass synth at the end. So, uh, I have everything bussed, and the idea there is I'm going to treat the buses first when we get to that point. First thing I'm going to do is create a static mix, but then once we get into adding some plugins, I'm going to start <clears throat> at the master bus and see how much cleanup and how much awesomeness I can get out of it just by treating the master bus. That's this all the way on the left that all the tracks come through. And then if there's still stuff that I need to be doing, I'm going to go to individual buses and I'm going to treat, say, the acoustic guitar bus as a whole or the electric guitar bus as a whole. And then if I still need to go from there, I will punch in further, not punch in. That actually means something different. I will go down deeper, uh, down the layers and sort of uh, use plugins and, and tweak the bottom layers. So the other thing I've done here for session setup, and again, just for the sake of time, I did it beforehand, is I put in some markers for each section of the track. That's gonna help me a lot, especially when I start using my control surface here, uh, which is a Behringer X-Touch one. Uh, being able to just quickly go between sections of the track or go back, do all of that. I mostly use this for things like transport control, vocal rides, um, you know, just the occasional tweak. It makes my workflow a lot faster. I will be doing a couple of things that uh, in the DAW, clicking around with the mouse so that you can see what's happening that I would normally be doing on my my X-Touch, but that's just, you can actually see what I'm doing. So, before we get too far in to talking, we should jump into the mix. All right, let me loop the whole track. Click the button on the four, but showing you. We're gonna loop the whole track we are going to forget the plugins. We're going to work on making nice static. First thing I'm going to do is solo the guitar bus. Now, I've got two acoustic guitar stems here, and they're very similar. One of them actually just went through a denoiser. So right now, I'm going to listen through and pick between those two. Then, hear it. You know what? I'm not worried about noise. I'm gonna take the quote unquote noisy one um, and leave it. And we're all that good. Hit save. On all right. <clears throat> so we've only got one acoustic guitar part. Um, we're gonna throw in, let's do electric guitars next. We've got here our electric guitar bus Let's see what we've got from the start Guitar A is just this sort of somewhat twangy electric guitar. It's been amped, no effects. Already hearing some things I want to do with it. Um, but it as is. And then the electric guitar B is just this plucked. And I'm hearing some things I want to do with that. So you know what? We'll throw in a that delay. Sorry, just a quick compositional thing on the track. 
and then let's balance the two of these guitars together. Um, I'm actually going to do all the guitars because the acoustic guitar part is plucked as well. I think it would be kind of nice. Eventually, out. Sound. on that guitar. That may just be part of the signal on the way in. We can go with that. I just switch sides. I've got the plucked electric guitar on the left. The acoustic on the right. Good enough. We'll see. We'll see how things sound. That that uh, electric guitar A may be a little loud. I've got it on my fader here, so I can grab it at any point. Let's bring the bass in. Let's just listen to the bass part by itself first. That is not. some of these they're all right so now our bass part is amped let's add that in with the rest of the track keep the vocal here working with Bars and bass. Can't deal with tuning issues now. Too late. Get a right of the source. synth that comes in here. I have a feeling it's going to be loud. Yeah. Right.
I'm okay with the transition. I'm just going to check it one more time. I'm checking the transition from electric bass to synth bass. is wondering drinking okay hmm <laughs> I'm hearing hearing things I want to fix but stick with not fixing problems yet trying to get a static mix Let's bring the vocals in, see how that sounds. That's interesting. I'm hearing something that I really like when I totally take out the electric guitar A. So I'm going to try to leave that guitar in, but get that sound back because it doesn't, it's not filled out quite enough with just the one acoustic and electric guitar B. Harry is a promise. Right. Sections like that, that's With just no bass. map to guide my way. Harry is a promise. With no map to guide my way. For the road ahead is paved by those who never plan to stay. I know you said that fortune so i think what it is there's a harshness in the electric guitar part that i think by itself is kind of a cool sound for that guitar but it's the rest of this mix feels kind of i'm i'm almost thinking like wood e like reminds me of like a i don't know like a like a desert house like a I have an image in my head. Anyway, 
So I'm trying to I'm trying to preserve that feeling and figure out where this electric guitar fits. I think that there's going to be some EQing that happens on the on the A that's going to help it help hollow out that, that twangy sound. We'll get there. You said that fortune favors over bold when you're saving for salvation you learn that hell is cold Sometimes I think I hear you In the winds that cool the plains Each day I relearn what I knew Of how much me remains I know you said that fortune Favors all the bold but I'm done saving for salvation Since all my soul's been sold If I went to meet the past Came back to... Alright. I'm stuck on this electric guitar part. I think we actually need to go back and change how it's amped.
Sometimes I think I hear you In the winds that cool the plains Each day I relearn what I knew Of how much me remains I know you said that fortune favors all the bold but I'm done saving and the mix really low I think I'm much better with that um, than I was before. I think it was just, it was too twangy and it's still twangy, but it didn't fit. And now I think it fits a little bit better. All right. Let me go back. I want to check. Yeah. Chorus. Chorus into the bridge. And, oh, right. I wanted to check. I think the other thing that I is working well with the electric guitar A is now if you look at the amp section, <clears throat> I have these two different amps. It's actually it's the same amp, but it's two different cabinets. Each cabinet is mic'd differently, hard panned left and right. And I think that's giving it just a little bit more spread on the electric guitar that isn't not focusing all that energy up front. It's more providing like this nice wide add behind everything that fills in the gaps of everything um, if i were to go back and rewrite this song i actually might rewrite that electric guitar a part i don't i don't think it's bad i just think that now that i have the experience of listening to the song for months on end I, you know i've got different intuitions about what i would want to hear there that's not a bad thing like there's also no reason i can't go and do that not happening here Plus, the song's already out. We've got other stuff to work on as far as writing. You know, kind of one of those things that the very first song we released. All right. Good. Anyway, all right. We're going to call this Static Mix good. I know there... Let me, let me check one last thing. We're going to go from the electric bass to the acoustic bass. I want to hear that transition again. And then... Hopefully our static mix will be good and we can move on there. Okay. I 
I like that the synth bass comes in a little bit, a little bit louder. Stylistically, I'm, I, I think that's cool. There could be an argument for getting it to sit the same way as the electric bass, so that there's not that transition. But call it good. I like it. Let's save and let's go look at some. We're gonna start with. Put down the strumming bar. Sanity. Listen to this in mono. For anybody who doesn't know, some a lot of DAWs have this output uh, mono mode. And I mean, this is super useful. I, I like checking mixes with this. I like, there are all sorts of cool things you can do with mono mode. You can also do a mono mode where you're just getting the left channel or just getting the right channel or getting the difference between the channels, which is kind of a cool effect. I'll show you that. So this is left channel. Oh, next week. See, there's a bunch of stuff that if it's directly up the center, you're not going to get any of it in this mode. You're only hearing in mono the stuff that's hand to the side. Anyway, different lesson, different day. We're going to do our, uh, switch it into mono, listen to this strummed guitar, and we're going to pull up a handy dandy. Basic, simple EQ. I think otherwise it sounds okay. 
not a super well recorded uh, acoustic guitar part, but working with what I got here. And again, trying to make this quick. Um, Dan two there is the main thing. I was hearing this sort of ooh, ooh, ooh sound while the guitar was going, and I found it and pulled it down because it was annoying. Otherwise, um, band three there just add a little sort of bright, crispy top end, and you know, otherwise it's okay. Our sound. I don't remember what mic I used for this. It might have been either this mic that I'm talking into, or at one point I was experimenting with using a lav mic clipped into the hole of the guitar. Um, this could have been off of that, which would explain why, like that really woody sound. It's it's literally like attached to the guitar uh, that makes that sound on its own. Anyway, all right. Our EQ there and rolled off some bottom end um, just to avoid some mud and because I felt like it helped. Let's do, we'll save this drummy guitar for a little bit later. Let's listen to our. Actually, you know what? Let's listen to the whole mix. We're, we're looking for problems. We're, again, we're not trying to glue things together, we're not trying to do. Major, we're just looking for like where are the standout issues, things that are going wrong. All I carry is a promise with no map to guide my way for the road. Audio track. Right. Um. Okay. Harry is a promise with no map to guide my way. For the road ahead is paved by those who never plan to stay. I know you said. That fortune favors all the bold when you're saving for salvation. You learn that hell is cold. There's nothing happening. Moving stuff around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Like moving things around, going, I can't I hear that. What's what's happening? Like nothing's changing. Well, the plugins bypassed. <laughs> there is a promise with no map to guide my way for the road ahead is paved by those who never plan. I know you said that fortune favors all the bold when you're saving for salvation. You learn that hell is cold. Each day I relearn 
each each day I relearn what each day I relearn what I knew each day I relearn what I knew of how much me remains I know you said each day Each day I relearn what I each day I relearn what I knew each day I relearn what I knew of each day I relearn what I knew each day I relearn what I knew of how much me each day I relearn what I knew of how much me remains. I know right. you said that fortune favors all the bold, but I'm done saving for salvation since all my soul's been sold. If I went to meet the past, came back to what I'd done, I'd hear the grass whisper each day. So nothing crazy standing out to me on the other. I still feel like I want to characterize. hearing like a little duck quack not I, I don't know why I describe it as a duck quack that's um
Okay, I'm having trouble isolating this sound. It's pick noise. Um, but... So it's hard because it's not it's not a ringing frequency it's it's like a splat like duck quacky flatty pick noise that what am i going to do First. I think it's right in here. Let's get this show on the road. Just gonna get something done here. I will by no means claim that this is. Will be better than one. Already better. All right. Let's do this. Let's go through, start with the master bus. See what we can get done there. Um, off. We'll leave this for the last if we even say. Okay. Solid bus. All right, so this is, I've had some good luck with this as a master bus compressor. We're going to in some settings that I know have worked for me in the past. Interesting though, I've uh, mostly used this on tracks that do have things like drums in them. Curious how it's going to react here. Let's. Shine for no reason 
Except I heard that's where you go With time measured and freezing You learn to get along All I carry is a promise With no map to guide my way For the road ahead is paved by those who never plan to stay. I know you said that fortune favors all the bold when you say. thing that I'm hearing is in the bass I should demonstrate before I fix it um in the bass when the electric bass is in with the synth bass this doesn't seem to be a problem when the electric bass is in on the decay of each bass note it's dropping too much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a presser to Bring up those decays. Do it. Um. Dying for no reason. Except I heard that's where you go. With time measured and freezing, you learn to get. No map to guide my way For the road ahead is paved by those Who never plan to stay I know you said that fortune favors all Oh 
dogs barking. Actually, I almost wonder if using something like a presser pedal pre-amp would have this sound a little bit better. Because I'm, I'm almost getting what I want, but I'm still hearing the tone of the amp decay, even if the volume is not decaying as much. Uh, so I'm actually going to go to, I'm going to grab a presser stomp box, essentially and dial it in this way the go for a little bit of a lower attack nice long piece but i think this should this should get us the right tone off of the bass compressor option in here. I think that's good on the bass. I think I'm getting 
the decays that I want there. If you listen to the bass part, here, I'll, I'll A-B it, because this might be interesting. If we... Listen to the bass part with it with that one. So now it's off. If you listen to it with this on and off, uh, hopefully the volume is about the same. That's what I'm going for is I just want a tonal difference. Um, the beginning of the bass, right when I hit the string to play the note, should be about the same. However, the, the decay after that, first there's the attack, then the decay. It goes, buh, and, oh, and you blend that together, you get the full bass note. Oh. Hopefully the attacks are not getting... Too, they're not too different. Um, the compressor is hitting them, but then the makeup gain is pulling them back up to where, where they were. What I want is that the, the decay from that compressor to still catch the tail end of the note and keep it up while it's decaying before the next attack comes in so that what's effectively happening is that the quiet part has been brought up. Even though it's using a compressor, which brings the loud parts down, you make up the gain and you pull everything up and then the loud parts which would be too loud if you just crank the volume have now come down that means that you've sort of evened out the tone let's a b it on and off so hopefully you can hear what that sounds like and i think it's i think it's clearest in this section here Reason, except i heard that's where you go with time measure oh, especially that line except i heard except uh, i heard that's where you go with time right right before the next bass hit the bass note comes in it's almost like you can't hear the bass anymore i mean you can but it's the volume difference is immense except i heard that's where you go that's like a 20 dB difference. All right, and then with the presser in. Reason, except I heard that's where you go. With time measure. Reason, except I heard that's where you go. A little bit better there. All right. So, done that. Listen to the whole mix and see what we're going to attack next. Shy and for a reason, except I hear that's where you go. With time measured and freezing, you learn to get along. All I carry is a promise with no map to guide my way. For the road ahead. I keep checking that transition because anytime like a major instrument drops out and is replaced by something else. For me, at least, it feels like it's really easy to just make that stick out too much. And I do like the contrast, but I don't want it to stick out too, too much. All right, let's just do vocals real quick and see where we get from there. So time 
Sometimes I think I hear you in the wind. Sometimes I think I hear you in the winds that cool now, the. Earlier, the reason I pulled up this audio track uh, channel strip essentially is got a compressor and EQ built in together. Essentially, the uh, U4 plus. Uh, compressor just an easy old tool sometimes I think I hear you in the winds that cool the plains start with about like a 4 to 1 ratio each day I relearn what I knew of how much me remains I know you said that fortune favors all the bold, but I'm done saving for salvation since all my soul's been sold. If I went to meet the past, came back to what I'd done. I'd hear the grass whisper at last of accusation. Sometimes I think I hear you in the winds that cool the plain, shine for no reason. Real quick here, lose the word in. In shy and full, in shy, in shy and take this. In shy, in shy, in shy, twelve decibels. All right. In shy and full. Oh, that's not good. All right, we're gonna zoom way in on it. Trim. Volume pre effects huge. Catch that whole word in by the time here it should. In shy and f a little bit better. In shy and full. We can hear the word in. I'm I'm happy. In shy and full. You can tell it's there. Uh, again, this is one of those things where, knowing what I know now, we had been sitting in the studio where we recorded this, and I had been listening, and we done the track i would have gone can you i would have i would have had ted do another take where he really emphasized the word in instead of saying cheyenne i would have basically just said ted say in cheyenne uh and uh, you know it feels awkward to sing it that way but i think it's worth being able to hear words anyway there's a way to do it not getting a perfect mix today we are improving on last time that is the name of the game constant improvement. let's keep going on these words I am for no reason except I heard that's where you go with time measured and freezing you learn I'm gonna do one thing I, I keep coming back to this electric guitar I know we're trying to focus on vocals but Keep coming back to this electric guitar, and I think it may need like a reverb effect on it. Not reverb as something to tie things together, but reverb as an effect so that when you're listening to that instrument, you notice, you go, oh, that's a guitar through a bunch of reverb. I'm trying to think how I want to do that. I may want to do... Let's stick... Put it in the first. Right. 
try something crazy so we listen to just this guitar i kind of like the sound of it through the plate however put it to the click so you can hear it's way behind i'm going to duplicate track oh there we go um the reverb send off of this one and this one we're going to leave the fader all the way down so it's just going to the reverb send and we're going to back hold on we're going to back up the clip so that the reverb the sort of first thing you hear in the reverb is synced with the, the beat tempo. So let's do that, and then we'll bring the, the dry R in as well and see what happens. Try and stuff. And shy Shy and for no reason. Kind of ghostly. Except I heard that's where you'd gone. With time measured and freezing, you learn to get along. With no map to guide my way For the road ahead is paved by those Who never plan to stay I know you said that fortune Favors over bold When you're saving for salvation sometimes i think i hear you in the winds that cool the plains each day i relearn what i knew all right <clears throat> in the last couple minutes here let's get some reverb on the track really tie things together Finish up with this new mix of Diane. Uh, let's start with the vocal. Not everything needs reverb. You know, what I learned, interesting. When I was in school and we were learning about basic mixing techniques, 
one of the techniques that we learned was to try to put everything in a room together to make a reverb bus that was a room reverb and send everything to it and try to make this realistic sound. For a while, I tried mixing that way, but recently I've found that I kind of like not doing that and using reverb as this sort of after effect glowing thing that doesn't make everything sound like it's in the same space. It tries to make everything sound better. I want my mix to sound better. That's what I'm going to do. Sometimes I think I hear you in the winds that cool the place. And I like plates for me. Each day I relearn what I knew of how much me remains. I know you said that fortune favors all the bold, but I'm done saving for salvation since all my souls been sold. One thing we didn't talk about is DSing. <clears throat> what may be useful in this track, and I may do this offline, is to go through this is how I would normally DS. There are a bunch of ways to do it, but I know you said go through here and find the S's. Said, Whoops. You said you said and volume automation pre effects. Bring them down so they're clean. Oh, you said oh, you said that oh, you said that oh, you said that for you said who you said said that fortune favors all the bold but I'm done saving I'm done saving for salvation for salvation, for salvation, since all my souls, since all my, since all my, since all my, since all my. Since all my soul since all my souls Oh, well, there's an S there, but I'm not worried about that one. Since all my souls Since all my Since all Since all my soul Since all my Since all my souls Been sold My soul's been been souls been sold souls been sold souls been sold. Okay, so realistically, I should have been doing this before I did anything on the track, like compression. Because now I'm I'm de I realize I'm DSing, but I'm hearing it through the compressor, which makes a difference. And I can go turn that off, but again, I may I may go DS this elsewhere. I, I do want to finish up in nine minutes. Let's finish up on some reverb. Been sold. If I went to the past came back to what I'd done. I'd hear the grass whisper at last of accusation.
questions only left now of the answers I had then. If it's you or me, I'm seeking out in the prairies of Cheyenne.